welcome to Painting in the Shed and happy Easter. Uh, on this episode, I had a little prompt from a friend of mine saying about, you know, have I done a crucifixion painting before? And I haven't really done one properly, so I thought I'd have a go at it. I've always been a bit hesitant about it. Um, so I've used um, <clears throat> a tree and also a bit of a crossbar as well. It's kind of how I imagined it in my mind. And so I've tried painting what's true in my heart. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as you can see, my vision for the painting did change throughout the whole process and stuff, but I enjoyed that. I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been uh, supporting me on Facebook, on my page, and, and putting your comments and stuff. I haven't been very well recently, um, just some sort of migraine sickness thing. It's, um, so I just appreciate all the uh, comments and all the support you guys have been giving me. Uh, it really does help me, it really does. Uh, so thank you. Um, uh, there's some more videos coming up soon. I've done a painting for someone quite well known in the, in America, so that's quite exciting. Um, I might say something more about that on, on another episode. Um, but uh, yeah, happy Easter and hope you have a really good time with family if you're seeing family over this period. And um, yeah, just remember what Easter's about. And certainly this painting, doing this painting has actually helped me focus on that and, and it's been um, a really challenging but good experience to paint this if you want to if you want to purchase a print of this painting um, I'll put a link um, and you can click on that and buy a print of it um, two different sizes you know a smaller one and a bigger one um, I realize it's quite a dark painting but I don't know I, it, it helps for me to remember what what Jesus did for us so um, anyway I hope you have a blessed time and I'll see you again on another episode God bless thank you take care bye bye <laughs>